Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. I have been playing Wuthering Waves for a while, and with the release of the new first update today, I thought I should share a few things that I learned the hard way with you, so that you can start playing without making the same mistakes that I did. Let's get started. Number 1. First off, you're probably already aware that you get a lot of XP item from the challenges, quests, and events that are available and thought that you can spend them any way you want. Don't. These resources may seem plentiful in the beginning, but they become quite rare when you start finishing all the quest line and events. So don't spend them until you are sure of the character you want to use. Number 2. Don't level up your weapon unless they are purple or gold. Personally, I wouldn't level a purple weapon past level 50. It's just not worth it. Wait for the gold weapons you want from the gacha pool. You will need a lot of those XP items to level gold weapons, so don't waste them on anything else. Number 3. Don't upgrade or tune any echoes until you get them in gold. If you need to upgrade them for the guidebook quest, then do the bare minimum upgrade required to conserve your resources. Number 4. When it comes to echo farming, there are certain stats you should aim for. For the 4 costs, which are world bosses, the stats you can get with them are crit rate bonus, critical damage bonus, defense bonus, and HP bonus. For the 3 cost echo, you will have the same crit, attack, defense, and HP bonus. However, they have an additional stats that you should aim for, which is a specific element attack bonus. This is probably the most important stats that you can get from a 3 cost echo, so make sure you farm them until you get the right element that you want. For the single cost echoes, they will only have attack, defense, and HP bonus, so depending on your build, you can get the stats you want pretty quickly. Pro tip 1. When you are looking through your list of echoes, filter them by their cost and elements so you don't have to scroll through the countless echoes. Pro tip 2, you can track specific echoes using the tracking function, even the echoes you have not absorbed before. Pro tip 3, some of the events will give you a reward that will allow you to select one goal echo of your choice with the element bonus that you want. So this is a good way to get that one annoying echo that you just can't find. Pro tip 4, save all of your green, blue, and purple echoes until you reach data bank level 15 so that you can use the merge function to get gold echoes. This not only power level your data bank, but it also saves you a bunch of time farming for all the gold echoes. And last but not least, selecting the team is important, so keep in mind when creating your loadout. For example, sword using characters will all use the same material for skill upgrade. So if you only play characters with sword, you will have a hard time with the upgrade resources for weapon, skill, and etc. So it is definitely a good choice to vary your loadout with different weapon user. It is also best to vary your elements for the character as well. Don't use character with the same element affinity or you will have a hard time against some of the mod. It will also save you a lot of time if you always have a gunner in your team because there are puzzles and challenges around the world that will need a gunner. Having to go into menu to switch character loadout each time is just plain annoying. And for those of you who think Gunner are weak, watch this. Chixia probably does more damage than my rover. Anyway, that's all for now. If you like videos like this, please let me know with a like or leave your comments below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.